What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to this new video on Optimism and the OP coin. Wanted to do a full update for you so that you uh, know optimally everything that could happen to Optimism. We'll talk about the reasons for a move like this. Just basically, basically everything you need to know. Um, before we dive into optimism and the fundamentals and the technicals specifically though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment and there you'll find the instructions on how to join my trading signal group, but also trading results, everything you need to know. All right, but now on to, uh, now on to optimism uh, or the OP coin, because we have been very, very bullish. I wanted to start with some fundamentals. The main reason I think for a move like this and what we have seen now, um, is is the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade? Optimism obviously is a, is is a layer two of Ethereum, kind of similar to to Arbitrum. And what we have seen is that uh, Arbitrum as well has just been very strong. Uh, Ethereum was pretty strong, as you can see, or pretty strong, very strong, uh, because of some sort of relief. I think that there were no major sell-offs after the Shanghai upgrade, and that caused a lot of bullish momentum caused a lot of liquidations, I think, as well, but also just major bullish breakouts. And that also caused uh, cryptos that have to do with it. I mean, for example, also Rocket Pool, uh, Lido DAO, Fraxshare, which all allowed staking on the Ethereum 2.0. They're all very bullish and Optimism and, and Arbitrum are almost leading the charts. Um, apart from that, if we take a look at uh, Optimism specifically, so how it's doing as a chain, what you can see, Right here is that the daily active addresses and the daily transactions have been very, very strong for the last couple of days. Uh, I would even go as far as saying since the beginning of April, so for the last two weeks. And apart from that, the total value locked today is fairly high. That's mostly because the, um, because the price of OP also went up. Overall, it's been stable. That, 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 that really is nothing to, to necessarily write home about. But still, we're doing great. So the big thing is right now is that technically, even though this chart looks very, very messy, I'm sorry, I'm going to delete this. Um, even though technically you can see that we're at a major resistance level right here between, I would say that the major resistance is between 2.6 and 2.65, but technically the entire level runs from 2.55 to 2.7. Yeah, it's a pretty big level. You can also see historically, we found a lot of uh, support and resistance in that level. And the big thing is, is that we got a number of bullish breakouts, but now you can also see that some cracks are perhaps starting to appear, like Ethereum is finding some resistance. I still think Ethereum can go up a, a bit more, but even if Ethereum goes up a bit more and drags optimi optimism together with it, we'll just find resistance right here around 2.7, right? So I do not think at this point of time, optimism can break above this. What I think is will happen is, is that we will either, we'll, we'll keep this resistance at 2.65, or we'll go a bit higher towards 2.7. And then from there, I think the only way to, on the short term, break above um, break above 2.7 is that after dropping down, and right now that we'll find support at 2.55 and then hold that. If we can hold that for at least like 24 hours, all right, that means we're very strong and we will probably get up to 2.85, which is our next resistance. I think it's a bit more likely though that even though I do expect that or I do acknowledge that on the short term we can have bullish momentum from Ethereum, I still think the most likely scenario is that we will find resistance and that we will not be able to hold 2.55 as a main support, but that will drop down towards 2.5 and perhaps even down to this and I think even down to this level at around 2.4, 2.42. And if we can then hold that, and I actually think that's more likely, then from there we can start some sort of bullish momentum if the market, if Bitcoin allows that as well. That's what I think the most likely scenario is. That So on the short term that we will find some support at 2.55, but then afterwards we'll drop down to 2.5, find some support there again, and then drop down to 2.42. And then from there we can start an uptrend again. That's my take on it for now, but I'll keep you updated, of course. For now, thank you for watching. Take care today. Enjoy your weekend in advance and bye.